Hello and welcome to Please Don't Send Me Into Outer Space, the podcast intent on exploring all that science fiction and fantasy has to offer one movie at a time. My name is Joel Torres. Oh. That's right, I said my last name. I don't know why. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I know you got- My name is Aaron. No last name. Ah. Mysterious, huh? <laughs> my name is Sarah. This week was Sabrina the Teenage Witch from 1996, directed by, and I love this guy's name, Tibor Takex. Tibor? Tibor. T-I-B-O-R. I wish my name was Tibor. Can you call me Tibor from now on? No. Jator? Jator. 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 What's up, Jator? Starring Melissa Joan Hart as Sabrina Sawyer. Uh, Sherry Miller as Aunt Hilda, Charlene Fur- Furnetz as Aunt Zelda, Michelle Boudon as Marnie, Ryan Reynolds as Seth, Tobias Meller as Harvey, and Lil- Lala- what? Lalania? Lalania Lindbergh as Katie. I believe that covers all the characters that are actually worth knowing, although the movie, what was, what we were going to rename the movie? Oh, Harvey, Harvey, oh, Harvey in the friend zone. Harvey <laughs> and the friend zone. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. A very distracting character, Harvey. <laughs> this was a weird movie. Don't you, I mean, I, uh, what do you guys think? <laughs> well, I, I'm going to have to say that it was it was definitely weird, but very mundane to begin with, mm. but definitely weird. <laughs> yeah, I have to agree with you. This was like a slice of life high school movie. That yeah. just randomly had some effects thrown in. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like they were going like for the clueless vibe and oh. and stuff, but the in between parts were like, oh, uh, so there's a little magic. Hootie hootie. Like, not. It wasn't well mixed at all. No, it wasn't. It was like, this is gonna sound bad but i was expecting this to be the worst movie i ever saw and it wasn't the worst movie <laughs> i ever saw there were some parts that made me roll my eyes but <clears throat> quest. but it was like it, this is again like higher praise than i expected to give it but it was kind of like watching my so-called life if just randomly angela started flying in the air or walking into a closet and entering another plane <laughs> Totally, totally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sabrina was way too cheery to be Angela, though. I mean, Sabrina always seemed to have a good attitude, even when things were going wrong. Yeah, she just kind of had a very slight, like, aw, oh, shucks. Aw, mm-hmm. oh, dang, aw. Oh, that boy doesn't like me anyways. Aw, oh, dang. She's just that country I can't believe, oh, excuses. I've slightly been embarrassed in front of everyone in school. Aw, oh, mm-hmm. dang. <laughs> I'm just gonna go home now. Yeah. I wish I was half as happy as she is in this movie. <laughs> when you were a teenager or now? <laughs> no, I just mean like her energy. It's like if this is her pretending to be bummed out, imagine how happy she really is. <laughs> Living the life. Living the life. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> yeah, no, serious. It was literally like the same scene where she was supposed to be sad. She was already smiling like maybe 15 to 20 seconds later. Just mm. like, oh. Oh, shucks. Isn't life hard, guys? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that reminds me of, like, the worst acting we ever saw on stage. The guy who couldn't keep a straight face when he was delivering the serious monologue. He, like, started laughing. Which one was that? It was when we went to see Closer oh, yeah, on stage guy. in L.A. He was just so excited. 
I guess he I didn't care. I wonder if that was his face, though. I mean, I don't know if he was, but he get, he was seriously just smiling whenever saying the most horrific lines. Like, he's smiling, he's smiling. Oh, he just hit her. <laughs> I know, Patrick Marbert's dark, and he was just like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna beat you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of adds like a sadistic twist to, to it was the like, seriousness of the scene. It was like there was some kind of inside joke going on oh, between the actors. That might have been it was it like too. totally distracting. See, yeah. I didn't know which one you meant because we've seen some bad stuff on stage. So <laughs> to, I was like, is she talking about the Danish play we saw? Or is she talking about the one that took place at the train station that was written by somebody who'd never been to a train station before? No, she meant the other one. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could elaborate on that, but we let's cannot. Let's not. Yeah, let's let's do this. So, uh, Harvey. Harvey is not a witch. Oops. No, no, he's just uh, cursed with being a teenage boy, I guess. I mean, a teenage boy? Yeah. I mean, well, obviously these people are all in their 20s or whatever, but... That was really creepy for a teenage boy. Maybe oh, it was the God. most realistic portrayal of a teenage maybe. boy. Maybe. Maybe that's why it was so horrifying. Yeah. You guys weren't a teenage girl. No. So that's you true. don't know. No. That's true. But we were certainly creeps in high school. <laughs> I mean, not the whole time, but we all had our creepy moments. I'm sure, yeah. Absolutely. You know, I actually think that um, when you're a teenager, everything is kind of endearing everything is kind of charming unless you're like somebody who seems like they really have a bad intention towards you Mm. like which i kind of read vibes off people if someone has a good genuine vibe Mm. like then i pretty much see them as good you know until until i see something like negative or like manipulative or just like opportunistic i I get that definitely yeah but i don't know I feel like you had a an attitude of of positivity about people. Yeah. Back then and even now you don't expect somebody to be a jerk Uh but I feel like Harvey if we'd gone to high school with him he would have been the one that everybody was like God, what is he doing again? You know, like talking about <laughs> him because what he thinks he's doing is completely normal but everyone else is like you're being a total creep. Except we're not telling him that, you know. He's just peeking out of the bushes. Uh, Sabrina, I can smell your hair from here. That that pool party, man. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Like, it was all normal. Everything was normal. And then here he comes walking out of the bushes. <laughs> like, it was just your 90s pool party scene. You know, hey, everyone's having a great time. And then here comes this kid out of the bushes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, and it's not like there's like, there's like, you know, people around. They're all happy. And he doesn't say hi to any of them. No, mm-hmm. he's fixated upon Sabrina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, that's right. I wasn't invited to this party. Quickly grab a glass of water. Splash it on your face. I was in the pool. Yeah, yeah it, it was creepy. <laughs> Just blending in. Just blending in. But he didn't seem to have any other friends to tell him he was being creepy. No. Good point, though. Good point. It wasn't like it wasn't like Sabrina's uh, other friend with the incredible hair was also his friend. Yeah. <laughs> nor anyone else in the school, for that matter. In fact, wasn't he like the help in like every scene? Yeah. Like, yeah. He was just trying to be a part of the scene anyway. Did he, he even be. go to classes? I don't know. See, he brings up more questions than... Well, <laughs> we only Whoa, saw two I classes. I didn't think about we, that. We saw PE and we saw science, quotation marks, class. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know what was going on with that science class, but they were talking about witchcraft for some reason at some point. Absolutely. Did, he ca- did the witches cause these weird weather patterns? We'll never know, said the science teacher. <laughs> I believe the answer is no, because magic doesn't exist. But well, the thing is, is magic does exist in this in well, this, this world. world. So perhaps that is just an average science class in this world. Like maybe magic is a thing. Like I hadn't I hadn't really thought of that till right now. But yeah. It's hey, possible. I mean, the, the the science teacher was the one who kept getting mixed up magic seeing things and not being able to tell anybody about them. So <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no. I guess it's a bit of it's a bit of a leap there to to think that science was uh or magic was 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 a commonplace. Nobody seems to know about 
any of that Kind of stuff. the Harry Potter, think the Harry Potter world, I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. All the muggles and whatnot. So there is a couple of main points I want to hit. And one of them, and I think this is very important, is that the fashion. What was going on there, Sarah? <laughs> Lay into it. I need to know. <laughs> Oh, man, this movie brought back so many 90s memories for me. Everything about it is <laughs> dated. Um, but I could have seen myself almost enjoying this if I had seen it when it came out. Sure. Almost. If it weren't for the supernatural stuff, I think I probably would have been like, huh, I could see myself in this like high school situation. Yeah, those parts were kind of particularly boring compared to the high school stuff. And it's not like the high school part was super interesting, but it was was, at least like, I recognize what's going on here. It was more realistic. Like, than the TV show was so terrible. I mean, I really hated that TV show. (laughs) I really did. And I... Which show? Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Oh, I never watched it. Well, no, no, I take that back. I remember seeing a few animatronic cat scenes. Oh, yeah. Yes. In particular, with a laugh track. Horrifying. And then I would change the channel. Yeah. Yeah, It was terrible. It was a terrible show. I get the feeling, I don't want to reveal too much about your life, but you probably had to watch some of this, it seems. (laughs) I didn't have to watch as... No, not not too much, but I saw enough to know that this show was bad. Mm. Um, Not for me, anyway. Get back to that close. Okay. Um, So it looked like somebody had a credit card. This is what Aaron said. (laughs) Had a credit card and went to the Ventura Mall in 1995 (laughs) and just went crazy. (laughs) I thought they were just at Ross. (laughs) They went to Rave. They went to Contempo Casuals. They went to... (laughs) <laughs> You're killing me. It must have been. It must have been a write-off. You know, I guess it must have been some sort of write-off on yeah. this. Yeah, and I had shirts that were exactly like shirts they were wearing in this. Like they were this shiny material that was like a. It was like a polyester, but it was like completely shiny on one side, and then there'd be like images of something just like blasted onto it, like like sunflowers or. I think I had one with like hula dancers or something on it. Mm, exotic. Um, but yeah, the idea was it was like a bare midriff. You wear like a crop top with like a skirt or like shorts or something. And these girls were wearing like just <laughs> the cheapest 90s outfits possible. But it brought back so many memories yeah. for me. Shirts underneath of dresses, which I actually remember rocking myself. <laughs> um, and and dresses that looked like they were separates, but they were just one piece. And um, yeah, just, you know, some there were some boots. There were some platforms. There were some high socks. And just a lot of the old, you know, favorites from the time period. Only thing I didn't really notice that I thought was missing was the guys' stuff. They didn't have any of, like, the 90s style, really, until we got to the dance scene, which... (laughs) Oh, man. (laughs) Which I was saying looked like the music video Boys to Men did for the song I'll Make Love to You. Some big suits. Everybody was just wearing these gigantic oversized white clothes. Or, like... It was meant... (sighs) I wish I could remember the line now, but it was some. I think it might have even been Harvey's idea that being the the theme of the, yeah, of the because, prom, right? Yeah, somebody went up to him and was like, "Hey, Harvey, this is great. This is a great idea." Yeah, he's like, hey, well, "Have you seen Sabrina?" <laughs> <laughs> It's like a different person every time that he says that to. Yeah, that's true. So it's like they would never got, know that's the only that's right. thing he says. He's You're got right. it written down somewhere. He has, I already asked this person last week, so I can't ask again. <laughs> I'll ask this other person. Make sure he calculated. Yeah. Man. Yeah. So what did you think about the story? I mean, it's supposed to be like coming of age style type thing going on, but... It was really like 
she gets her powers on her 16th birthday. It takes about half the movie for her to actually get, like, confirm, <laughs> or for her aunts to confirm that she's a witch. That uh, she's doing different things in between, right? When, she throws the javelin really far. That's, that's a oh, witch man. power, right? It, in a very crowded track, she's able to hurl a javelin with uncanny superhuman strength. Past the stadium. Mm-hmm. Past the, the point of eye vision. Like, you, it goes beyond reality. I mean, just off, right off the page. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's out there. In that, that dream-type world, were they supposed to be on the moon? I mean, did she actually throw the javelin to the moon? Well, it's just that, it's just that no one acknowledges it at all. Like, it never happened. No, oh, no. And then, like, and then she throws it again, and everyone acknowledges it. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, yeah. Because like, yeah, like, it's perfectly normal then, you yeah. know. I think she got lucky that nobody saw that first one oh, go yeah. off into space because <laughs> she probably would have had to explain herself. Right. That's, That's true. Who, that that feat gets her onto the track team, which gets her invited to the pool party. And then we see her use her magic to change the price of the bikini she wants from $75 to 15 Now that's a discount. Cha-ching! She okay, so she has heard. Does she? She hasn't even heard she's a witch yet, has she? No, she had the sixteenth birthday, and Surprise she party. found the book, and then it disappeared. Yeah, and she lit that girl's hair on fire. No, wait, she didn't do that. The girl like kind of backed her hat into that thing. Yeah, it's well, just messing around with well, goofiness. I believe. I believe it was her intent, though, for her to have something bad happen to her, right? Because she was. Totally being a bitch at her birthday party. Right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, that's no. I think we need to know more about the lore here. So she, you think her intention was Mm -hmm. silently to wish something bad upon that other girl? She gave she gave her a very predatory glance. Yeah, as she was talking about as she was like prancing about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, what an awesomely packed. 16th birthday party. Yeah, seriously. Like, I think she must have invited the entire school, and the entire school showed up. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was, I was pretty impressed by that. But yeah, yeah, it was just very interesting seeing the, uh, the, the, uh, antagonist of the film. Yeah. Kind of, like, do this, like, very, like, predatory prowl through the crowd. Like, just oh, give it, it's yeah. your birthday? <laughs> well, happy birthday. Ooh. Hey, Ryan Reynolds, I'm here. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds with his 90s haircut is just like, uh, yeah, okay. Cool. <laughs> um, this was so much better than the TV show because the production value was so much higher. They had a real cat. And they just did voiceover. The voice was still stupid for the cat, but it was a real cat. And it was a cute cat, so... It was super cute. I didn't yeah. care that it was a talking cat because because it wasn't the machine cat that mm. we saw in the TV show. That thing was horrifying. Yeah. I remember. I didn't like that. Yeah, and no, then... No, Sabrina. <laughs> yeah, the... <laughs> <laughs> like something from Chuck E. Cheese or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday. <laughs> They made me out laugh of track. The, <laughs> laugh track. Made me out of the leftovers from Vicky from Small Wonder. You know what? And the other thing too is that shows. I don't know. I don't know how what your guys' opinion are on laugh tracks, but I mean, well, I think it can be utilized very well sometimes. But then other times, it's just there because the joke just isn't worth it. You know. The only time I've ever liked laugh tracks is like in old style cartoons. If mm-hmm. a TV show has to resort with a laugh track, I feel like you're not doing very funny stuff. Mm. I mean, <laughs> Friends, right? You, yeah, you know, I guess you're Big right. Bang Theory. It's like, you just don't need to do it. The, the IT IT crowd, though. No. Nope. He really? doesn't like the IT crowd like because IT crowd? of the laugh track. I don't like the track. IT crowd because of the laugh track. But dude, the jokes are worth it. There's some good there stuff in there. There are some good jokes in there, but that laugh track makes me want to You gotta look terror. beyond. Nope, can't do it. You gotta look beyond. Never will. All right, that's I fine. I refuse. That's fine. Now allow my me next to pick poke will be my season out. one of IT Crowd. We're <laughs> living in a world where it's okay to watch Sabrina the Teenage Witch movie, but not okay to watch the IT Crowd. That is neither science fiction nor fantasy. <laughs> I have declared it so. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Joel rules with his iron fist. I haven't actually seen the show. Yes. Okay. Okay. I well, like the IT crowd, just for the record. I know you do. 
And I know I have an unpopular opinion. It's okay. But it's, it's my okay. opinion. Mm-hmm. And That's since right. I am king of the universe. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, the prophecy the, pro- the prophecies foretold, Joel, that someday you will watch the IT crowd and I you will enjoy it. I should mention, I, you know, I brought, I brought up the clothes and stuff like that. All that clothes was making me feel really uncomfortable. Really? Like the, the skirts were a little too short. The hmm. midriffs were a little too high. And it's like, Dude, that was the 90s, man. The montage of girls dancing around bikinis. I'm like, what's Tibor up to? What's, what's going on Don't here? Don't you remember going to school and having to read like seven, almost maybe eight pages long like dress codes? Yes. Yeah. Dude, the 90s that's, were the 90s, That's man. what I'm talking <laughs> about. Where were those rules in this high school? Riverdale, man. Yeah. It's just Riverdale. Archie Andrews walking around. We're in a thong. This is a bigger town than the one we grew up in, I think. Riverdale's a little town. Moose is hanging out. (laughs) You just said Archie and Archie and a G string, right? Yeah. You just said he's in a thong. Why do you do this thing? Why do you do this to me, Joel? I don't know. (laughs) Why do you do this to me? I was just gonna say we need to get an artist on that, and then I realized there's an artist sitting across from me. (laughs) Uh yeah. I had Fiona Staples to drop. <laughs> I had shirts that were short, but I wasn't allowed to wear them outside of the house. Right. I could only wear them at home. Oh. So these were very. It was the, it was the style back then. Yeah. But you know you couldn't wear that to our school. Definitely not. Yeah. Though kids did try to. Yeah. And oh, yeah. oftentimes they would just be wearing gym clothes. Yeah, you'd see like I this remember. gigantic Inside oversized out. shirt. Yep. And yeah. you'd be like, what the heck? And then you'd be like, oh, they wore something they Just weren't make supposed a sweater to. Over, yeah. yeah, my dad running along trying to get them to put clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's see, anything else? Uh, volleyball cam. That was nothing. That oh, was the volleyball cam scene. Some, some little tiny part of, uh, <laughs> of interesting camera work that was no longer... In the movie after that, and like for some reason, we had to see that volleyball flying towards the head. And when they didn't end up hitting it, they ran into the net. They were just like, ha ha ha, that was fun. In any other movie, that would have been like, those nerds ran into the net, let's make fun of them. This was just like, oh, uh, high school, it's great. Yeah, no, I agree with you. That would have definitely been one of those humiliating moments that would have gone with you all the way to lunch. Mm hmm. Or beyond lunch. Yeah, everything was sort of just laughed off. Like you were saying, she just had this positive attitude. Like, even if something went wrong, it was like, eh, oh, well, life is still grand anyway. <laughs> it's true, though. It's true. Yeah. Now that I don't have to live with my brother Ferguson anymore, it's great. <laughs> the sound effects when something magical happened were so bad. They were so remember. bad, and and like the Danny Elfman ripoff, like <laughs> like opener, and then, the and then and then they closed with that as well. Like mm-hmm. you got the circus mucus music at the end as well. <laughs> like that's still in my head, Joel. It's still there in my brain. No. Like I can't get it out. No, Sarah doesn't want to talk about the music because she's afraid I'm going to track down the soundtrack. <laughs> 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 because well, this had some mid mid to late eighties, and then a little bit of nineties stuff going on. That was just like, this is so bad. I gotta rock out to it. <laughs> well, the, we all have to fight our inner demons somehow, Joel. Mm. If you have to listen to the song again, be sure to wear headphones. You'll never take Quincy think of your think of me. your friends, think of your family. <laughs> It's because I love my friends and family that I have to share it. (laughs) Blast it out of the car while we're driving around. (laughs) But we did all have that laugh out loud moment at the song at the end when she finally, when she finally, I don't, spoiler alert everybody who's going to watch this. (laughs) I think we should go step by step through this. Okay. All right. Now, we're not going to do the rest of the story because it's all garbage nonsense. Because the only part you really need to see in this movie is it's not prom. It's like some spring dance or something like that, right? But it starts off. Uh, she she gets to go with her dream boy, dreamboat Ryan Reynolds. And Harvey is there stuck serving drinks. There was a <laughs> pathetic scene where Harvey was like, you save one dance for me? Oh, my God. <laughs> 
Oh my god! <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if the, you had the same reaction, Sarah, but like both me and Aaron were like tearing at our skin, going, "Oh, you loser! Stop well, it!" The amount of desperate in that sentence yeah. was just my my uh, my Dragon Ball Z scanner blew up. <laughs> <laughs> the scouter, the scouter just blew up on my face like in Dragon Ball Z. Ah, that was a curveball that hit me right in the funny bone. <laughs> not cool. I just, I, I just didn't expect that, Joel. I agree with you. Like the desperation, man. Like maybe it just hit too close to home. I don't know. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I, was, I think it was just too was close to home for me exactly. too. <laughs> I was thinking, like, that sounds like something I would have said in high school. This is yeah. bad. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they consulted with, with high schoolers on the script. Son, you look like a loser. What would you say? <laughs> if the girl you like went off with a different person. Uh, just, remember, just remember me, oh, I Sabrina. Least, <laughs> at least ask her to save another dance and then maybe make her another mixtape in, in anyways. <laughs> so, oh man. <laughs> oh, could we preface real quick? How did Sabrina get to go with her dream date to the prom? Oh, they're magical Adidas, of course. Okay. Because Ryan Reynolds, whose character name I have completely forgotten. Seth. Seth, that's right. The snake. That's Seth. That's right. Said that he... <laughs> <laughs> said this movie, Joel! This movie! <laughs> whoever wins that race is who he's going to ask to the prom, which is, uh, from what I understand, a very common thing for popular people to do. I was never popular in high school, but <laughs> I think, true to his word, as soon as she wins that race, he like runs up to her and is like, "Hey, do you want to go to dance?" Like voiceover. <laughs> I'm like crying here. <laughs> this movie, it just it had some really, mm, some really, really. <laughs> It's probably in tears, Joel. You're like, hmm. It's not even... It's, it's this not movie even, makes you go, hmm. <laughs> Where did that come from? Hmm. Oh, my I God. I don't know. And so... He really did want to ask out the person who won the race. Yep. He told Harvey. That's the most important thing to him. <laughs> oh, athleticism. <laughs> That's what a man really likes. But there was a curveball, Joel. Curveball. The curveball was, even though Sabrina is now a witch, mm -hmm. she can use magic. Mm -hmm. But she cannot make someone fall in love with her using magic. In any way. In any way. Because if she does, what happens to her? She gets turned into a familiar... And by that, I assume they mean like a sword or something. I don't know. You know, the familiar could be a lot of different things. What is, what is this? What do you think she would turn into? A cat. Specifically, a cat only. Well, that that was what her familiar was once a warlock, a male witch. Oh, is that what they said? Yes. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. I think I was too busy picking my nose or something. It's I okay. was. I was disturbed by that idea. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they said only in, it would last ninety years, though. So no, like, maybe I it was thought a they young said guy. nine. Oh, only nine years? Yeah. So far, you're failing this quiz. Wow. <laughs> we passed with I flying heard, colors. I heard ninety. <laughs> it's okay, Joel. Well, so, those witches were like two hundred plus years old. So. So. Having a ninety-year-old cat add zeros seem that to the end of everything, then. <laughs> oh, right. so they were two thousand. <laughs> no, I understand. <laughs> It's okay. I'm pretty sure Vin Diesel would just show up and... He would arrest them. <laughs> that's right. As we established in that movie, he wasn't killing no witches. Oh, that's right. That's right. I but never was creeped out by the idea of her having a cat around that she could talk to. Mm. But um, the idea of him being old a, an old man witch trapped yeah. in the body of a cat, that was creepy. Hanging out with the teenager. Yeah. He's only nine. <clears throat> the nine-year-old boy. Man. Person. Nine year old man boy, warlock. Mm. You're just not making this easier for me, Joel. <laughs> I want to see a drawing of the nine year old man boy, warlock cat. 
<laughs> I just picture him like in like some little schoolboy suit, like the the guy from ACDC, maybe flying on a broom. <laughs> That's what I picture. I was picturing like like a what? half half orc in like a loincloth. Oh, awesome! Or That's never, way better. She never flew on a broom except for in that one vision she had of herself. What the hell? <laughs> she, yeah, you're right. Because I know we're jumping ahead, but like. The only time she did fly, she just flew on a white orb of light. Yeah, it was a, it was nimble. They could have put a broom in there. They could have put a broom. Yeah, seriously. I'm sorry, I totally derailed this man. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. What it's happened okay. in that prom, man? Yeah, what so, happened? At I just time? wanted to make sure people knew. That's when she starts to realize the kisses. The kisses, right? And there's there's some seriousness that's, behind yes. this. So she's tricked Ryan Reynolds into going to this dance with her. It's not love, though. But whatever. Anyways, he he's. He's being a jerk. She's finally realizing he's not perfect. Then he decides he's gonna... Wait, wait. The other girl, whatever her name was, Blondie, was jealous. So she breaks into Sabrina's locker and she finds the spell book. Why Sabrina had the spell book at the high school? Your most prized possession? I mean, it's not even hers. <laughs> I mean, well, it's the one that you're learning from, right. like, like legitimately. Why would you bring it to school? Yeah. I'm just trying to picture her, like, because this is not, like, a small book either. No. Like, this is not, like, the algebra book that fits in your backpack. No, this book is, like, two feet tall by, like... It's like a coffee table book. Yeah. Higher or bigger. Yeah. Like, was everyone blind when she was just walking <laughs> through the school? <laughs> <laughs> this huge cryptic arcane tome. Oh, she's a witch. <laughs> yeah, she, she couldn't have had it. In her... Oh, she could have just said, "Be in my locker." She did. That's true. Could have just teleported. Mm-hmm. She did what we used to do in high school to protect the covers, and she put like some uh, magazine or a newspaper over the. Oh, that's smart. <laughs> hey, what's that? Uh, my chemistry book. <laughs> <laughs> it's like gigantic. Huh. Yeah, it's cool. Lisa Frank cover. Yeah. Couldn't you buy, like, really cool book covers from, like, the, mm-hmm. the school? Um, they had the special sales on libra- at the library. Yeah. Like, in the I never store. did that. I never did that either. No, why the hell would you? <laughs> I went you in there once. just one- draw them. I-, I remember going in there once and, like, looking at the t-shirts and mm-hmm. walking out very quickly. <laughs> I, think oh. I-, I think I might have bought, like, some gym clothes there, though. Yeah. I don't remember, though. The stuff you had Vaguely. to get. Vaguely. Got all our school supplies from places that didn't charge an extra dollar. Yeah. Being a teenager was embarrassing. It is kind of... <sighs> so yeah. imagine it's embarrassing now. It wasn't just embarrassing re- for Sabrina. I just remember book covers and things I thought were cool to have on my book. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Like pictures of Ben Affleck. So she breaks into the locker. <laughs> <laughs> He's the bomb in Phantoms, you know. <laughs> He is. <laughs> he, sent, he sent that message to Bat Kid. He's a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> and she takes this book and she's like looking through it. And Sabrina, she goes back to the dance and brings Sabrina back out to the locker room, which there's nobody around. For some reason, she was like, oh, she's a witch and I'm going to confront her by myself. Nothing could go wrong here. And uh, she says, I'm going to tell everyone you're a witch. And at first, Sabrina does the right thing, which is like, (laughs) a witch? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and tell everybody that. And then she's like, I am. And then all of a sudden, Sabrina thinks, oh, no. I don't. Well, yeah. Who's going to believe her? (laughs) Wouldn't that have just brought her even more, like, misery and sadness? People would have looked at her like, you're crazy. Yeah. And then. That guy broke up with you, and you are going crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Maybe they just didn't have goth kids in Riverdale, so the only explanation was she had to be a witch. Melissa Joan Hart doing that glib, nonchalant thing is, like, probably my least favorite, and she does it in everything she's in, that, like, really? Yeah? You're gonna do that? In this case, it was like, turn it around in an instant. You're mm-hmm. afraid. You're gonna be exposed. Mm-hmm. Tibor. Tibor was on <laughs> Okay, now you're afraid. Okay, now you're scared. You were pretend. You were like, really? Sure. <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> so, this is one of many actions that she does where it's like, I'm not sure she's a good witch. She turns the blonde girl into a dog, into a poodle specifically. And, um, yeah, it just kind of runs off and we're like, okay, whatever. 
And she's fine with it. She's like smiling, like, yeah, I got my book back. Goes back to the dance. Now, her familiar did tell her earlier in the film that she was a good witch. Right. Yes. Told her. My parents told me I was smart when I was a kid. <laughs> People say things. <laughs> I know, but it's just, it's just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Today's discussion okay. is the friend zone. <laughs> so in the prom. That's when Ryan Reynolds Ryan is Reynolds. like, hey, uh, why don't we go to Make Out Cliff? I mean, uh. A nice scenic place that I, I'd like to show you. There's going to be lots of people there. Scouts on her. So she runs off, and immediately Harvey's like, oh, Where's Sabrina? Oh, I can't smell her anymore. She's not on the campus. <laughs> I'm so dirty. And he's asking everybody, and those... <laughs> the guy who plays Dale in Tucker and Dale vs. Evil is what like... I, he's an awesome actor, Yeah, he's cool. He's yeah. cool. <laughs> I'm really glad that he appeared in this movie. Yeah, it launched his career, probably. Probably. <laughs> Yeah, but it was nice. really weird because I didn't know it was him, but, like, the blonde hair and kind of, like, some of his body language, mm -hmm. like, especially when he was in the back seat of, uh, um... He looked uh, basically the same if you shaved him, you know, Yeah, so like a very miniature version mm -hmm. of him. It was really funny. Yeah. Yeah, there were a couple of recognizable people in the movie besides him, like the, the girl that was also in uh, your favorite movie, The Faculty, uh, who, she had a very minor role. <laughs> And it's not Aaron's favorite movie. Give what? him a break. <laughs> but he picked it out. It must be his uh, favorite. He picked it because you'd never seen it. It's a cross that I'll bear. Listen. I do love the fact that it's we, not okay. my favorite movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, after we're done does it have, this. Does it have Elijah Wood in it? Yes. Yes. See? <laughs> Boom. It's okay. It has Elijah Wood. It has uh, somebody else. I even else. watched that Cooties movie that just came out. Is Elijah Wood in that? Yeah, it's Elijah oh, Wood. Oh, yeah. Last Witch Hunter. Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. He's like our most popular person. <laughs> Surprised he wasn't in this one as uh, the guy. Oh, God, I just remembered of the faculty when they're like slamming his balls against that flagpole. Uh, okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that the faculty was a trigger word for... Uh, yeah, it is now. For, for male, male pain. It's when you put the faculty and Elijah Wood together that it oh, comes okay. back. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Joel. Just breathe. Just breathe. <laughs> His poor testicles. It's okay. It's okay. This will so, pass. All things will pass. So uh, I keep wanting to call Harvey Tibor, but Tibor's the director. <laughs> Maybe this is autobiographical. It could be. It really could be. <laughs> so Harvey steals somebody's bike. I mean, he says, can I borrow? And the person says, yeah. But, I mean, it might as well have been a scene where he just stole it. And, of course, Ryan Reynolds is trying to make the move on some moves on Sabrina. Just the move. Singular. You know what move that is. He's probably trying to put his arm around her. Oh. He just wants to give her a little smooch. But she ain't having it. She thought it was going to be a party. But he had a different idea about what kind of party it was going to be. Mm-mm. What? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Joel, I'm gonna, I, I can't wait to listen to this episode. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed wait. right now. I can't I'm afraid wait. I'm going to be really embarrassed when I listen to this later. I apologize. <laughs> no, no, I, I am I'm thoroughly excited. And unironically. <laughs> so this is great. <laughs> he kicks her out of the car. Uh-huh. And that's when she uses, once again, the semi-evil magic on him. I mean, he was being a jerk, I guess. But she, like, destroys his car, and then it starts going in reverse or in circles around him. I I almost expected him to get clipped by it or something. Yeah. All right, all right. I have a theory, okay? Tell Just me. hear me out on this. I'm listening. Okay. What question? What is a good witch? Let's think about this for a moment. In pop culture, what makes a good witch? I think of Wizard of, the Oz, of, Wizard of Oz, okay? Glenda is a good witch, correct? Right. What does she do? She drops a house on another witch, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. that was Dorothy. Well, was it Dorothy, though? Yes. She didn't have any control she over had where no it contr fell. Dorothy's She's not part a witch. witch. Huh? Dorothy is part witch. No, she isn't. Is, yeah. is, is that actually recognized in, in the books? I have no idea. Okay. I remember reading it are somewhere, you, but it might have just Are you been. BSing me? It might have <laughs> been like, you, sound, you sound like... I mean, I'm not joking. I don't know enough about this, not but I'm, joking, just, I'm, right. trying to, I'm trying to bring up a theory here, so... Let's get uh, Mr... Uh, 
Mr. Bomb, uh, whatever. No, no, is. Glenda does. Glenda does ask Dorothy. Oh, this is so. This is so derail. Bad witch? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm not a witch at all. I'm a little girl. No, you're not. You're in your thirties. What? But what does Glenda do during the movie? Nothing, right? Pretty for the most part. Mm, she other than show in a show bubble. up. Doesn't she? She gives her the ruby slippers off of the other person's foot using a wand because she's too lazy to do it herself. Okay. I don't think she could bend over in that outfit. Oh, that's true. So, so think yes. So most of the magic, most of the magic that's done by witches is done by the evil witch, right? In, mm-hmm. in Wizard of Oz, yes. Okay, she makes those poppies grow. Okay, okay. So yeah, all right. My theory is that Sabrina is. A bad witch. Okay, absolutely. Mm. Based on based on these these facts of popular culture and yeah, it's true, she's certainly a mischievous witch. Yeah, she's a teenage witch. That's right. Oh. oh. Anyway, <laughs> thank, thank you, thank you for that though. <laughs> so Harvey shows up. He's been riding his bike for hundreds of miles or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sabrina, I came to save you. And Sabrina, being the dope that she is, is like, oh, let's have that last dance I promised you. Everything fell apart. Like, it was a a kind of okay story aside from the magical stuff, even though it was cheesy and dated. But when they got to the prom, it was like, okay, all of a sudden, Ryan Reynolds, you be a jerk. Mm -hmm. Even though he didn't really act like one before that. Just act they're really aloof. And then the other guy who she paid no attention to and never and just showed said any... like you're a friend. Yeah. yeah. And showed no interest in all of a sudden she likes him. <laughs> firmly in the friend zone when he when he revealed or she figured out that he had been putting flowers in her locker, she punches him in the arm. Thanks, friend. <laughs> <laughs> you can't spell it out any harder than yeah. that. <laughs> so there's sexist stuff too in this. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, against men. There's sexist stuff in almost everything, but <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of like the male gaze I was aware of in this. Like that's what I was talking about. As a woman, you aren't experiencing this as a woman. You're experiencing it. As a woman who's being seen by men. Right. Mm, totally. Not, not you. You're the object that everyone else is looking at. Yeah. And it's like. Yeah. That's what I was saying. I was oh, yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah. Like a lot of the way things were shot and filmed, like there were like low angles and the, the way the clothes fit on these people. I was like, Tibor, what are you trying to make me feel? Tibor, call in today. I don't think Melissa, I think Melissa Joan Hart did an, an all right job in this. Oh, yeah, she did fine. And she was probably like still a teenager, wasn't she? I imagine, I mean, she was, I don't know when Clar- Clarissa Explains It All ended, but she was probably like 17 when the last season happened. I liked Clarissa Explains so, It All. I, I don't know when this happened. Yeah, yeah I mean, it was that's a fun the show. Thing. But I didn't like Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I think it was supposed to. Trying to carry over that character into this universe, basically, yeah. without changing it that much. Except she does magic, you know? Yeah, totally. And in Clarissa Explains It All, she did things that were kind of magical. I mean, they were just her imagination or whatever, but... Could she freeze time like Zack from Saved by the Bell? Mm, like, did she ever do anything I don't like know that? if she was... Well, she definitely broke the fourth wall constantly. She couldn't yeah. order pizzas like he could when he okay. froze time. <laughs> Okay, very well. <laughs> but I think that she did like when she was like addressing the camera sometimes. I can't, I, you know, I, it's okay. It's been I like can't a, really remember a decade. I remember that people would constantly come up through her window, yeah, and come and talk to her. Yeah, yeah it was like the which highway. Was, I thought was pretty awesome <laughs> yeah. to be honest with you. I did too. Like, I wanted people like that would Coming be the coolest thing. Window, yeah. like, I lived in a very isolated like our orchard growing up, and like so I didn't really have kids come around and ha- to hang out with. Yeah. I would have loved just, like, my friend to roll the window open and just tuck and roll into my room. Yeah. And we could have played, like, PlayStation 1 or something. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of, like... <laughs> now that I've seen some other movies, it reminds me of Nightmare on Elm Street and Scream. Yeah. Boyfriend's crawling in the window. 
Oh God! Yeah, Harvey, I didn't think of that. Ugh. Harvey we just watched the them both really close uh, together, and yeah. that scene where Skeet Ulrich climbs in the window is like so much like the Johnny Depp climbing into the window. It's not even funny. He's, he's trying really hard to be Johnny Depp. You haven't seen Scream, right? I remember you saying that. Oh, uh, it's a, don't worry, it's okay. But you we just sh- spoiled it I, for dude, you. Somebody probably... climbs in a window. It's, it's okay. <laughs> I'm probably never going to see it. So. I will see I it for this podcast. Yet. Oh, don't say that. It's a sci-fi movie. You've threatened this before. No. <laughs> It'll be for that other podcast. I'm going to do it with Scream Jose. Scream wasn't that bad. If okay. you're like thinking like faculty era. Oh no, yeah, yeah. The scream, scream, the scream. The Scream was a pretty good movie. <laughs> the Scream. I went, I went this weekend and saw The Scream. <laughs> oh, yeah? Wow. Is that a new movie that's out? <laughs> it's, it's, based wow. on, it's based on the painting. Oh. So, the end of the dance. She flies back with Goofball, mm-hmm. and when they land, first of all, the science teacher sees them, and he's trying. He's going like, hey, 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 and the other person's like, what are you talking about? And he's like, uh, nothing. But she she doesn't have to explain to him, even though they were both flying through the clouds together, her and and Harvey. Well, it was I'm, I hate to interrupt you, but I, I feel that, that you're it, always interrupting. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, just I'm that guy. I'm totally that no, guy. You aren't. But, um, he was under a spell. They established they established before, like that uh-huh. that he was, uh, you know. How convenient. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, come on. <laughs> I know. Okay. It doesn't matter. I'm just saying. Yeah, no, when it's When they really flew up into the air, uh, it was so bad. It was bad. It looked like someone tied a couple of mannequins to a rope and was, like, dangling them <laughs> in front of, like, a moon backdrop. It, made it was me- bad. It was bad. <laughs> it made me think of the Indian Superman thing where he's, like, flying, but it's obvious that he's just walking <laughs> The green screen. <laughs> but, and yeah, so he they go back to the prom there because they were back in the building. And uh, it pretty much – oh, well, they're doing their last dance and we they hear that. They play an amazing, amazing song. Amazing song talking about how I, – I, um, Are the lyrics? <laughs> well, something about friendship and – but, but like, specifically, like, friendship because – because Harvey was there. You know, didn't say his name, but he was you. there. He was there for you was, yeah. was the lyric. Mm. Very Self, touching. Self-referential. And then Aaron and I lost it because the poodle makes another appearance. And Aaron is trying not to lose it again right now. The poodle makes an appearance and it is being chased by two other dogs. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and as people who have spent time around dogs in dog parks, when two dogs are chasing another female dog... You know what's going on. <laughs> no, Tibor, so I'm talking to you. <laughs> so bad. Luckily, we don't see any of this happen, oh, but everyone's kind of like laughing at that. And we're like, we know who this poodle is. If those dogs get to have their way with it, holy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my eyes are burning. I can't cry anymore. To this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like we were talking about it. When it happened, we both had the same thought. <laughs> yeah. It was very prevalent. Like, like, that was the, yeah. It was very prevalent. <laughs> That's a person. <laughs> Those are dogs. And they're going <laughs> to, to that person. <laughs> Luckily, she turned back into a person before anything could happen. But, holy crap. <laughs> Uh, the old transition back into a person underneath the table. The most unintentionally disturbing scene I've seen in a long time. <laughs> Followed by a kiss with Sabrina and Harvey. Oh, boy. True love's kiss. That's right. She didn't turn into a frog or a cat. <laughs> You know, I think I had more fun watching this movie than I thought I was. I was dreading it a little bit last week when you mentioned that uh, w- what it was going to be or the random what the randomizer chose for us. We all were. I was unhappy because I was remembering what the show was like, and there was no sunlight. There was no <laughs> no outside. That was done on a stage <laughs> with a like set of a house. Bedroom, living room, yeah. back to bedroom, living room. Yeah, yeah, these people got to go outside during the daytime. 
<laughs> Natural light makes a huge difference. I have to say, the pool party reminded me of a, uh, of some stuff from my youth, though. Yeah, like I remember, yeah. go- I remember going to pool parties, and and that was actually kind of nice. It was kind of nice to see just people hanging around a pool. You don't really, I, I don't go to pool parties anymore, nor have I been invited. Yeah, <laughs> to any pool parties. Like, <laughs> me too, actually. But, 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 that I creepy mean, old man who hangs out in the bushes. Yeah, exactly. I no, I used to go to pool parties too. <laughs> yeah. Now I don't really anymore. Yeah, and I, I just, guess I, we're past the age yeah. of being invited to pool <laughs> exactly. parties. I used to go to pool parties and stay inside and play magic. <laughs> yeah, I did that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Until someone forced me to go in the pool yeah, and then, you know. I, I, that didn't happen to me. Oh, uh, poor Joel. You don't make him take his shirt off. <laughs> so... I just jumped in. <laughs> Joel. Dude, I just jumped in with my shirt on. <laughs> when I was 13. <laughs> Man, nobody exactly. wanted to see this I werewolf. I was humiliated. <laughs> you don't even know. Nobody wanted to see this werewolf in the pool, dude. No, I, I had my shirt on, too. When you were 13, you were a werewolf? Oh, God. I don't even want to tell you. I don't know. You don't need to know. Dude, I didn't, even, I didn't grow hair in any place until I was, I was like 19. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> so... <laughs> I don't think anyone would think. It's not something to be embarrassed about. (laughs) I'm not, no. It's ridiculous that these kind of standards are put on people that they need to be worried about. But when you're a teenager, everything is like something to be made fun of. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we were talking about during the birthday scene, we both asked Sarah, I mean, is this typical for teenage girls? (laughs) He said teenage girls are bitches, right? (laughs) (laughs) Don't quote me on that. Yeah. But I think I said that it's way harder to find a cool girl to hang out with than it is to find a, a mean, superficial, phony girl to yeah. hang out with. Or one that might just be jealous of you and angry that you're dating her boyfriend or something. Like, I mean, teenagers like in, are the worst, typically. Yeah. yeah. In Sabrina, what happened was that girl's boyfriend was like hanging out with Sabrina and the girl was like mad, so she was just like giving her the death stare or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd say that's about accurate. <laughs> yeah, totally. Never got the death stare, but I certainly had seen people give it to other people before. So I don't think uh, we're not recommending this to anybody, right? You know, I know this is for a kid, number one. Yeah, it's dated, number two. And number three, it's based on Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Yeah. yeah Archie Comics, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. There Have were you read, some uh... amusing parts. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. But it was... Uh... The new Sabrina comic actually isn't that bad. Yeah, I was going to ask you if you read that. Yeah, it's sp- spun off from Afterlife with Archie. It's only coming out like once every like two or three months though, right? Yeah, it's not It's not a, it's not a monthly it's right not now. It's cool schedule. It's Get, worth it though. I'm sure. I think I like the idea of a witch, like, story about a witch. Right. But they always seem to throw in this, like, bohemian, like, Stevie Nicks gypsy thing. And <laughs> it's like, it was all right on American Horror Story. I'm, I'm very <laughs> well aware. Stevie Literally, Nicks. Stevie Nicks showed up. But, awesome. um, But it's always, like, these, like, shawls that, like, look like they're... That a gypsy had, or a, like right fortune teller. These, yeah, fortune teller looking things. I don't think it's a bad story idea to have a witch. I think that the way it's pulled off most of the time is obnoxious. <laughs> the the way they show you that it's a witch. I'm, I imagine there are people who are bad movie aficionados that are going like, "You guys need to watch the movie Teen Witch right now." Which is a semi-popular, so bad it's good movie that mm-hmm. came out in the eighties. Cool. It was supposed to be a sequel to uh, Teen Wolf, <laughs> but it got you know moved on to its own thing. Well, I'll have to, I'll have to watch Teen it on Witch. my own time then. Yeah. Have you guys seen The Craft? I have not. I have not. Oh man, am I missing out? <laughs> well, it was a moment in time mm. uh, <laughs> for goth girls. <laughs> Yeah, I've actually heard about that recently. Yeah, I need yeah. to see that now. Mm-hmm. Could Feruza be the next step. Was that- cool. Oh God, no! <laughs> I thought Feruza Balk was cool, but I haven't seen her in anything. Yeah, in I was a gonna say time. whatever happened to Feruza Balk. I don't know. She did almost famous and then hit the road. Yeah, 
not quite up to so bad it's good levels. Had some parts that were hilariously bad, but the rest of it was just kind of eh. Like the fashion montage? Fashion montage and some of the magic, you know, going off the parts and things that were inappropriate for the kind of movie we were watching. You know, what What I came away from this was is I was really happy to see that a lot of these actors moved on to bigger and better things. Mm-hmm. And that was actually kind of a really cool, I would say, just kind of passingly, maybe watch it if you're interested in seeing these people much younger, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. And that would or, be the reason. Or maybe a little kid that might be interested in this. Like, yeah. it would be it would be weird. It would be yeah. different from a kid's movie nowadays. Yeah. But, but who knows, you know? Yeah. Maybe some 10-year-old girl out there might like it. But we had a very bad version of it. Yeah. Um, that was uh, just not very good quality. Yeah. So I would recommend Amazon if you do wish to watch it. And um, if you do like Sabrina the Teenage Witch as a character, though, I do highly recommend checking out um, some of the more recent Archie publications that have been coming out. Um, uh, There's some really awesome stuff they've been doing. Uh, Afterlife with Archie is a really awesome comic book about um, Riverdale being overtaken by um, zombies. Oh, and cool. uh, the, I guess the the point of origin of the zombie apocalypse in Riverdale is because uh, Jughead's dog is unfortunately hit by a car, and Jughead is very distraught. He's saddened by obviously by the death of his dog, and so Sabrina the teenage witch finds out about this, and she opens uh, the Necronomicon, which is in her aunt's house. <laughs> And she finds a, a spell or passage which brings uh, um, Jughead's dog back to life. Except he's not really brought back to life. He's a zombie! That's crazy. And he bites Jughead. So, is she, does she look like she looks? Like, is the drawing of her like what she looks like in this? Yeah, well, well no, not necessarily. Um, they, they, they definitely take the... Um, very standard, um, almost Hanna Barbera look. Yeah, which she originally had, which was you know like the uh, almost looks like a Flintstones character. Yeah, yeah, she kind of has like a I forget the, the Gwen Stacy kind of uh, headband, headband, mm-hmm. headband kind of thing. And Is they, her they, hair blonde? Uh, yeah, she's blonde. Platinum. It's very uh, okay. almost white, almost okay. white. That that's the look that she has in the comics. Yeah. Does See, she have a boyfriend? It's never established. And actually, they keep. No, no. Are they, you interested? <laughs> Joel. Yeah, I'm Harvey. I didn't tell you guys, but... <laughs> Harvey. <laughs> Pull the mask off. <laughs> Harvey Feierstein. Mission Impossible Styles. Rip that mask off. Mm-hmm. Do you have a boyfriend? Oh, but I was I was just going to mention that in the comics, uh, Sabrina is actually exclusively not really hanging out with the kids from Riverdale High. Mm. In fact, most of her adventures in the comics are primarily just her, like, using spells to try to better other people's lives and hijinks ensue. Like, that's literally what a Sabrina comic book is just like. <laughs> <laughs> so let's move on. Let's let's go into uh, next week. We're going to do a pick. Aaron has selected a movie. It is The Faculty again, which is really weird. No, it's not The Faculty. I'm Fa- sorry. The Faculty 2 from the my fan Faculty fiction. The Faculty 2. Starring... Elijah Wood saves me from... Tilda aliens. Swinton. <laughs> He wants to watch a little movie called Dark Star by John Carpenter from 1974. Is that his first movie? Yep. Wow. Very first one. Very cool. One of my favorites. So that'll be what is on the menu for next week. Uh, Is there anything else you guys wanted to talk about, about your teenage witch experiences? Do you remember the first time you used magic? Well, I remember... Opening a deck box and selecting right, 60 so, cards. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, not Magic the Gathering? Yeah, oh, if, you're gonna send a, <laughs> if you want to send an email in to us, the uh, email address is please don't podcast at gmail.com. I can now see us taking that literally. Twitter at Outer Space Pod. Uh, did you want to give me individual Twitter things? I, I'm at JDT Movies. At Hyperhero Man. Yeah, Hyperhero Man. Aaron has been putting up art on a very rare occasion when he can, and it's very cool stuff. Thanks, man. Um, like us on Facebook. Give us a rating on iTunes. Any of that stuff will be really appreciated. 
the more stuff, uh, the more likes we get in that area, the more followers we get, the more that we're inspired to continue doing this. Now, we, we love the people we have that listen. It doesn't matter. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for listening. Absolutely. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for listening, guys. We're just having fun. Yeah. And we're happy that you have fun with us. Yeah, if you if you have any recommendations, just shout out on Facebook or send us an email or anything. Um, I'm sure that there are things that we could never dream up to watch that people know about. And thanks to those who have recommended movies already. Mm-hmm. It's been some good stuff. Been surprising stuff. There's things that we can't even that we had never even heard of that just like fell onto our laps that we're we're so happy that we watched. None of us will ever get over Save the Green Planet or Possession. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's great for us. Possession. Predestination Pre- too. Pre- or not Possession, uh, Doppelganger. Oh. And Possession is another movie that she's in, I think. Oh. <laughs> Doppelganger. Fire Predestination. Starter. Firestarter. What? We didn't watch that. <laughs> <laughs> Our intro and outro music was designed by David DeRoy. He gave us permission to say his first and last name. Thanks, so, D-Dog. Till next week, what lessons did we learn? Oh, now a lesson? Yeah, we definitely got to have <laughs> lessons. That's how we learned it. Um, <laughs> One lesson from each of us. Okay. I learned from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Mm-hmm. Man. <laughs> it's not that <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no, it's just, uh, there's so much. There's so much. I uh, say what I learned. Okay, what'd you learn, Joel? I, I, this is what I learned. If your science teacher is saying anything that seems really unsciencey and crazy, make sure to tell the principal. Because maybe that guy shouldn't have that job. Mm. Sarah? Did I tell you my story about our science teacher? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> let's, anyway, let's do that anyway, off care. Another, another. <laughs> off mic. I learned that the most mundane people may actually have magical qualities. I learned that there's more than witches and beavers inside wardrobes. There can also be just really boring beds. (laughs) 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 I don't think we even talked about that. That plane or whatever they go to (laughs) is just a bed. I learned I learned that when you picture yourself as a witch, you're just wearing a white dress. You know? Your reflection in the mirror when you walk into a wardrobe. You're, d- That's <laughs> you're just wearing a white dress. Was that like the symbolism of her being a good witch was the white dress? Is that what we're supposed to... It's because she was a virgin. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Just saying. t yes. Right in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll see you next week, folks. Thanks for listening. Bye. 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 Movie, hey. <laughs> <laughs>